An important part of training the mind is training your mouth. There seems to be a direct line between the two. And for most people, there's no circuit breaker. Whatever comes into your mind just goes straight out your mouth. That was a John Sowat's definition of somebody who's stupid. You need to have a couple of checkpoints, a couple of circuit breakers, to make sure that what comes out your mouth really is useful. Because just because something pops into your mind doesn't mean that it's worth saying. In Buddhist terms, the checkpoints are one, is it true? Two, is it beneficial? And then three, is this the right time and place to say something pleasant, or is it the right time and place to say something unpleasant? The Buddha wasn't in favor of the idea that unpleasant things are harmful. There are a lot of things that you say to people. You have to say to people to point out their errors. They don't want to hear it, but they have to hear it. But you have to make sure that your intention is good, that it is actually beneficial for them to hear these things, and of course that these things are true. As the Buddha listed the different possibilities of speech, the idea that something was not true but could be beneficial never occurred to him. So first order of business, is it true? Then is it beneficial? Is it timely? And John Fuhrer would add one more test, which is, is it necessary? We live here as a group. We're all meditating. And one way of showing respect for one another's meditation is to say things only when they really are necessary. There's so much verbal pollution that gets in the way of them, getting the mind to settle down, so it's good not to add to that verbal pollution. So make sure you have a couple of checkpoints, you have a couple of circuit breakers in there. So if something comes in the mind, before it comes out the mouth, you think about it. What will the consequences be of saying this? And John Fuhr again he said, most people speak first and then think later, which is wrong. Because when you think later, it's usually about, why did I say that? How can I go back and undo that? We're like people who type an email or type a text message and then press send and then read the message. Read the message first. Think about it. Sometimes sit on it for a day, then send it. Be less likely to cause yourself harm, less likely to cause harm to others. We all keep the atmosphere right here as quiet as possible. We don't have a vow of silence, because one of the ways of developing right speech is to learn how to speak, when to speak, when not to speak. And just so doing, you train the mind, because after all, if something is not true or beneficial or timely, you're not going to say it, then why even think it? You begin to internalize these principles for your internal speech as well. And that, of course, helps quiet things down inside. So you can get some control over your mouth, and you begin to get some control over your mind. So don't believe that someone says something, you have to respond right away. Think about what you want to say. If you get a reputation for being slow, well, maybe that's part of your reputation for seeming to be wise. And if people look down on you for being slow, well, that's their business. You want to make sure that what comes out of your mouth is really worth listening to. And people who are wise will appreciate that. <laughs>